Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft Excel to figure out the future value of multiple cash flows, where these cash flows are being deposited in a bank at different points in time, and you're trying to understand how much these will be worth at a known time in the future when the annual interest rate or the periodic interest rate is given to you. Let me illustrate using an example. Let's suppose that your bank is paying an annual interest rate of 5%. The question is how much will you have in the bank three years from today if you save $1,000 today, so that's what you deposit today, then one year from now you're going to deposit another $1,200 and then $1,500 two years from today. And so what I've done is I've depicted the situation on a timeline, which is really, really helpful because it helps you see graphically what's going on. So basically, if this is today, then you're going to deposit $1,000 in the bank. And this is going to sit in the bank for one, two, three years. And you're going to find out how much this is worth in three years. But then you're going to deposit another $1,200 after one year, which then, of course, in the bank will sit for one and then two years. And then finally, this $1,500 is going to sit in the bank for one year because you're going to deposit it at the end of two years. And so the question is, how much? How much will you have? How much will you have by the end of year three? And so really what this involves is you calculating the future value of these different amounts such that you want to you, you want to do this in a way to figure out how much these will be worth at the end of year three. So take this one thousand dollars first. You are trying to understand what will be the future value. So you invoke the future value functionality. What will be the future value of this one thousand dollars? When the interest rate, so the rate, that is given as 5%, so you enter 0 0.05. Please make sure that this is a decimal or a percent, not, don't enter 5 here. Uh, number of time periods, so notice that this 1000 is going to grow for 1, 2, 3 years, so you enter 3 over here. There is no payment here. PMT stands for payment. Payment is when you were deposit. Payment would be involved if you were depositing $1,000 every year. Right, so that's not happening. It's one lump sum amount of one thousand dollars. So you ignore this. You go past this, and then finally, present value. Well, the amount that you have in the present is one thousand dollars, and because this is you spending money, uh, you want to enter this as a negative. So negative one thousand dollars. And now, when you press enter, this basically tells you that at the end of three years, you will you, this one thousand dollars of yours will be. 1157.63 at an annual interest rate of 5%. Now you're not done because this is not the total that you'll have. After one year, you're depositing another $1,200. So here, you're going to say, look, I also want to figure out the future value at an interest rate of 5% again. That's the same. But now I want to find out how much this $1,200 will be two years out into the future. So the number of time periods you're going to enter is two. Again, there is no payment. This is like a one lump sum investment. And the present value, technically 1200 is not something that you have in the present. I mean, technically speaking, this is the present. But hypothetically, if this were the present, then you'd be going two years out into the future. And so that's kind of what we're doing. So for present value, you're going to say 1200. But again, make sure that you enter that as a negative so that we're representing this as an outflow. And so when you do this, this means that this $1,200 is going to be worth 1323 by the end of three years. So now maybe you're getting the gist of it. Uh, the last is the 1500 that you're going to deposit, which is only going to grow out for one year. And so you'll just say uh, the rate is still 0 0.05. I'm going one year out into the future. So NPER is one. There is no payment. So go past that. And finally, the present value, quote unquote, is negative 1500. And when you close the parentheses, this is 1575. And so now if you're interested in knowing what is the total amount that you will have uh, by the end of three years, then all that you need to do is basically sum up these numbers. There's a nice function in Excel, which well, it's called, it's called sum. So you just sum up these numbers. So you're summing up these three numbers. And when you do this, the total comes out to 4055.63. That is the total amount of money that you will have 
at the end of three years if you make these deposits and so this is how you can calculate the future value of multiple cash flows uh, uh, when you're interested in finding out what that future value will be at a certain time period